Uh, we have had some technical problems. Hit it! Welcome into Radio Stories Podcast number four. We're talking a little TV today, something that uh, almost happened back in 1995. So back in 95, I was five years in as a morning show co-host on WRKR in Kalamazoo. And looking back at my calendars and my notes, 95 was a very busy year. In March, I had uh, almost left town. We will do more on that in another episode. There was lots of promotional stuff going on. We were very busy. I became sports director for the three radio stations that we were working at, even though I didn't really do anything with one of them. Uh, Kalamazoo had a new baseball team. I was doing some sports play-by-play for uh, Western Michigan University, also high school stuff on the uh, AM radio station. We were trying to find a competent third member of our morning show, which was not easy. We'll do a couple of podcast episodes on that as well. So in August, I was almost hired in the sports department at WOTV Channel 41 in Battle Creek. So here's what happened and didn't happen. On August 28th, I had a meeting with Ken Hyde, who was the sports director, Channel 41 in Battle Creek. We had become buds. We had met uh, a year or so earlier and uh, saw each other all the time in the sports circle around town. I remember the first time I met Ken Hyde was at Wings Stadium. It was at one of the first practices of the hockey season for the Kalamazoo Wings. And he kind of sidled up to me and said, Hey, man, I'm Ken. I'm the new guy at Channel 41. Are you, uh, do you cover these guys? Do you know everybody? And I kind of chuckled because I, I did. And uh, ended up introducing him to Ken Hitchcock, who was the head coach of the K-Wings. And they uh, started their friendship. So Ken was from Arkansas and told me that uh, when we met, he said, I don't know anything about hockey. I think he even called it ice hockey at the time. Anyway, loved Ken. We got along great. So Ken was what we call in the media a one-man band. Channel 41 in Battle Creek was small. Ken was the sports guy, so he busted his ass. Most sports guys do on TV. You got to go to events. You got to shoot, you know, use the camera, shoot uh, some stuff and talk to coaches, players, go back to the station, edit it, then do your sportscast that night. And it's just a lot of work. So Cam was looking for somebody to help him out. And he asked me if I was interested. I said, yeah. So I hung out at the radio station, at the TV station for a while, three or four evenings a week. We got to know each other better and He was showing me around. At that time, their editing was just getting ready to go digital. So he was showing me all this cool new stuff, and I loved TV as it was, so this was exciting for me. I did not uh, go on the air. I did not go out and shoot anything. Before we got that far, it ended. And I never got the whole story from Ken because he moved away, but it was not to be. Eventually, WOTV Channel 41 was sold. They're now owned by Wood TV 8 in Grand Rapids. Now, Ken and his wife, Michelle, who was also on the air there, ended up moving to Boise, where she was on the air for many, many years. Uh, He owned his own video business. He is now creative services director at a TV station in Boise. And uh, that was our fun little time back in 1995. I almost ended up on TV. I had also also auditioned for a part-time job at Channel 3 in Kalamazoo in the early 90s. We had a salesperson at the radio station whose husband was the news director at the TV station. and They were looking for somebody, a part-timer, to help out, and they suggested I interview. So I did, interviewed, and then they wanted me to do a a fake sports broadcast as if it was going to be on TV. Well, I just sat down behind the desk and they had this script from last night and I had at it. There was no practicing, there was no preparing, nothing. And uh, I know everybody was watching on their monitors in their office and I wish I had that tape because I'm pretty sure they taped that kind of thing. But uh, I did it cold. Highlights, uh, I ad-libbed some comments. I thought it went pretty damn well. Later, 
I would do a basketball game on TV on Channel 3, Western against Ball State. I was the interviewer, the guy who interviewed players and coaches. John Koch did the play-by-play. John and I did many, many things over the years together. Anyway, I did not get that job at Channel 3. I certainly didn't deserve it. Uh, Paul Calvisi and Craig Can would be the future sports guys with John Koch there. Paul now works for the Arizona Cardinals. Craig and I became friends, played a lot of golf together, and then he left to go work at something called the Golf Channel. Yeah. Then he went to the LPGA, and he now owns his own consulting company. And it told me I may be mentioned in his upcoming book. So that's kind of sweet. Anyway, I almost ended up on TV. But it wasn't in the cards. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.